hello guys it's paddy here again and i welcome you to this youtube channel so today the video is a very short one and i'm simply talking about why we quit our poetry project yeah so if you followed my page for some time you'd realize that we started a poetry project back in ghana and it's about two years now so two years ago i went to ghana myself and the team and i uh, we got a land and we started putting up our structures to get ready to get into the promising poetry sector in Ghana. So we wanted to do something a bit ultra modern to fit into the poetry sector of a country with a growing economy just like Ghana. So yes, we conducted our feasibility study and everything looked promising. Everything was positive. The feedback we got, everything was great. So there was very high demand for poultry product, especially the eggs. And that was simply what we wanted to do, to trade eggs, to go into egg production, trade eggs, and to make money from it. That sounded like a very simple and a promising um, adventure. So we started putting up our structures, getting everything that we needed together to make sure that we were in the business. But a few months down the line, everything changed. Everything about the business completely changed. But don't get me wrong, the demand for eggs has not gone down a bit. The demand for eggs, if you ask me, I would even say um, has gone up astronomically. So that is not a problem at all. The demand for eggs is still there. Meaning if you provide or if you are able to produce a thousand, two thousand or three thousand crates of eggs a week, I'm so sure that you would still get a I mean, market for it because the market is still high. So what are the changes that I'm talking about today? So when we conducted our feasibility study, we took everything into consideration. We looked at the cost of production. We looked at human, I mean, labor, human resources. We looked at everything that is going to cost us or that could be factored into the cost of production to make sure that we were going to do the right thing. We were going into the right business because of course, no one wants to invest money when they know for sure that that investment is going to be worth. So we made sure that we got all the information and the data correct but as i speak to you now and as i'm saying everything has changed the major changes that we are talking about or which has influenced our decision to put a stop or a pause for now is the cost of production that would go into i mean feeding that is the main important reason for example at the time of the study a bag of maize that sold for 200 Ghana city, maximum 250, which was roughly around 40 to 43 dollars, is now going for 500 or even 550 Ghana cities. And that's roughly some 55 dollars just for a bag of maize. So imagine you have about 5,000 or 10,000 beds, and you would have to be buying a bag of maize at this rate. Trust me. It is highly convincing that at the end of the day, you may not even be able to break even. And that is a major challenge. That is a major problem. And that is not all. In as much as maize is the main component, it comprises of about 70% of the feed or the components you put together to, to make a feed for the beds. Other things have gone up equally because we have other products like wheat bran or rice bran that you may need to add up or to make the formula and all these are on the rise so as i said the demand for the poultry product especially the eggs it is still there it is still there massively which means that if your business model is built around the sale of eggs and you have a way you have a calculated way to circumvent these challenges i mean the issue of the feed you are going to generate some huge revenue because the demand is still there. So if you ask me, I would say that if you don't have those measures in place right now to make sure that you are able to produce your own feed at the maximum without relying, without relying or having to buy from outside your field, then this time I don't believe is the right time to venture into the poultry industry. Other than that, I think it is still um, a promising industry it has got a lot of demand and if you are able to do your pricing and manage your cost of production then it should be good for you but for now 
we are not closing our minds on the project we are not closing our minds on the industry but we don't think now is the right time so we are just going to pause for some time and still be studying the data on the ground and when things are okay or when things look good or when we are able to produce our own feed at the maximum level we will get back into the business so thank you for watching this video if it's your first time kindly don't forget to give us a like and a follow and let us know what you think if you're in the business or you have any idea or knowledge about it thank you